What's up guys? So today we're gonna go over using data inside of a project just really quickly. Uh, I'm not gonna go really in depth with it, but we just did a video on using JSON and using data in Jekyll is very similar to using JSON. In fact, the data is written in JSON that we're gonna be using, but we have to uh, call it a different way using Jekyll. Um, so we're gonna talk about that really quick. I've already got a project that I worked on where I created a data file that has a whole list of like holiday hours for an onshore team and an offshore team. So I'm just going to quickly show you that data file that's written in JSON and then I'm going to show you how simple it is to display all of that data in a table just using Jekyll and a few lines of code. So let's go ahead and jump on into that real quick. All right, guys, so I've got the JSON right here in this, uh, well, it's in a JSON file, uh, but this is using the data folder in Jekyll, and we'll, I'll show you how we're going to use that real quick. But I just want to show you, this is how we've got this all listed out here, just in JSON. So um, let's see here. We have the shift title, which consists of this, the table head. So this is going to set what each of our columns are and then we have each day is a row and each of these columns like each of these lines up with the table head so like the first uh is month where the first here january 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 it's all the months and then the, the date the day uh the holiday name and then the, the number of days um in case you got an extra day on i don't know the new year or something like that and so we've got this is all just written in JSON. So again, this is the first one right here, where we got that first shift, and then this is the uh, uh, this is the onshore shift. Yeah, so that's what that is. All right, let's go ahead, and I'm gonna pull up how I've got it looking right now. I've already gone through, and I just pulled this out of a project, so I still have my styling and things like that. So we're not gonna go into very much detail here and go over. Uh, everything that you have to do to make it look exactly like this. Um, that's just the CSS from a project I'm working on. So anyways, this is exactly how it looks right here. And I'll show you all the code aside from the JSON that it took to make this. And it's very, very quite simple and dynamic. If anything changes, if you need to add a day, remove a day, you can just go ahead and you can modify the JSON and it would update this. Um, so again, we have, this is our, the header that we had. This is the, the table head, uh, just like we had that set up. And then this is each of the days, um, in rows. Okay. So anyways, let's go back to the code real quick and I'll show you all the code that it took to create all that JSON to look like this. And hopefully you're a little surprised by how little we had to use, which is what I love. All right. So I'm going to come over here to the holidays.html and here we go right here this this is all we needed right in there that little bit of code and you're able to go ahead and get all of that that you just saw <laughs> so let's see what we got going on here so we're going to start a for loop so for holiday insight dot data dot holidays which gives us this uh, file over here so for holidays, so we've got, um, this is holidays. So each one of these entries here is a holiday. Okay. All right. Now let's come back over here. So for each one of those, we're going to have a div. Um, and inside of that div, we are going to have an H2 where we will call the holiday dot shift title which is what we named this right here so shift title so we're just, for each of these we got one here and then one down here we're calling this first inside of a div and that is giving us this right here and this right here so i'm gonna come back over here now we're gonna start a table all right and some a lot of times these tables can get quite confusing so i think i think we were able to keep this very simple honestly for what we've got going on here so we've got a table going let's start out with the table head here 
So for each of the holiday, well, for each holiday in the site that dated that holidays, we've already got the title. Now we gotta set the head. So we're gonna say for item in holiday table head, we're gonna list this out like this. And this is going to be item. And then we're gonna end the for loop. And then we'll end up ending the head as well. So let me come back over here and I'll show you. So it's table head. So we named this table head. And so that's going to give us each one of these because each one of these are an item. So what that does is that sets up each one of these in its own little box right here. Okay. That way we got our header. I don't know what a hater is, but whatever. <laughs> All right. Let's come back over here. Now we need the body and the body is, it's pretty much exactly as simple as the header was, but it's just an added step. So we're going to start our body and then we're going to write a for loop. So it's for item in holiday dot days, which is going to give us everything within here. Okay. And then everything within here on the second one. So if you remember up here on the table head, we've only got like one array right here, whereas here we have multiple. So let's go back over here to the HTML. So for item in holiday.days, then we're gonna start the uh, we're gonna start this tag. I'm spacing on the name of the tag, sorry. Um, and we're gonna say for item in item that's that's where it gets confusing so for item in item because we just declared this one we're going to display this item okay and then we're going to end that for and we're going to end the next four and as confusing as that is that will give us this all of this right here which is very it's actually quite simple honestly it took, it took me a little while to get this figured out when I first had to start messing with the Jekyll data. Some of it just seemed finicky, but I think it was just because I was writing the JSON incorrectly in the past. Because um, this was when I like first started messing with JSON and Jekyll. So that's that's what I'll attribute that to. But anyways, that's, that's really all it is. So it, we got one for loop to list through everything inside of that data file. Then we've got the a title. We've got the for loop to list through everything in the head. And we've got another set of for loops to list through all of the um, contents that are in the days section right here. So that's it. That's really all you need to get that done. All right, guys, that's it. It's really simple to use data inside of Jekyll. That's just a very rough version of it. I mean, you could expand on that and make it more complicated. You could make it less complicated if you want, but that's how you do it. And you can write the data and I think there's three different formats you can write it in, but I prefer JSON. Uh, I just like looking at the JSON, honestly. Uh, but anyways, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And if you have specific issues with using data inside of Jekyll, let me know as well, because I'd like to, I like to see what those are and uh, see if I can help you guys out. So, anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.